friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today we'll show a simple assembly and structural analysis of a table using SOLIDWORKS. And the model is consisting of five different parts. It has already been modeled using SOLIDWORKS. Let's start assembly. Let's select the models from here itself. It is consisting of stand, base leg, top plate, top support and finally top support 2. We have taken all the five different parts together. This is the leg, this is the central support, top plate, top support 1 and this is top support 2. Five different parts are there, right? First of all, we have taken this one. As per rules, it should be fixed. So we have to make it floating. And this central support should be fixed. So we can make it fixed. Right? These are all different parts. Okay. Now we can start our assembly. First of all, we have to put that base support at this location. Right? So we can start from assembly itself. Starting with MET. First of all, we have to select that location for mating. So we can make this model bigger for better selection of specific locations. MET. This location should be met with this place. One constraint is done. We have to follow two different constraints also. Then the second constraint is this plane should be mating with this plane green check and the last constraint is remaining last constraint is the mating surfaces should be selected so we can make it a little bigger for better selection that means this face should be mating with this face all the three constraints are satisfied so green check it is done right you can see clearly first constraint the first leg is already made okay done now at two more different locations we have to assemble this leg we can do it using circular component pattern so circular component pattern direction to be selected with respect to this central axis, we have to provide this leg with an angle of 120 degree. We want to provide three different legs, right? One is already provided, two more are needed. 120 degree and number should be three, including the original one. Next, it is asking components to be patterned. So we have to select that component. This is the component. Green check, it is done. You can see three legs have been assembled next one at this location you have to provide this top support this one to be provided here itself right okay so what to be done is in this case we can do the axis of these two different objects should be met together there is front plane of this one and front end right plane of this one should be meeting with right plane of this one and finally this surface should be meeting with the base bottom of this one so starting with met we can select the part separately stand or let's select the front plane of this base support should be meeting with front plane of this one right Both the planes are met. Green check. Now the right plane of this one should be meeting with right plane of this support. Right plane of this support should be met. 
done two constraints are satisfied we can check now the last constraint that means the mating faces right we can make it little bigger for better selection so this face should be meeting with the bottom face of that one let's make it little bigger for better selection you can check done all the three constraints are satisfied so it is made perfect right next one the other top support is also remaining that to be assembled here this part right so we can bring it little close to this one right now start mating starting with mate this edge should be meeting with this edge one constraint is done we can drag it here again the bottom face of this one should be meeting with the bottom face of this one again two constraints are met the last one that means this face should be meeting with this face all the three constraints are satisfied green check it is done right can make it little bigger for better viewing done next what can you do is this part we can use as a mirror component so starting with mirror components is asking about the mirror planes so we have to select this plane as the mirror plane so what can you do is we can select that plane of this base support front plane of the base support as the mirror plane now components to a mirror we have to select that component green check it is done right okay now the last one that is the top plate should be met at the surface here also in this case we want three different constraints to be satisfied we're starting with met first of all the bottom face of this one should be meeting with top of this one right so we can make it a little bigger for better selection one constraint is met two more constraints are needed right so what we'll do is with respect to the base support we have to select the different planes of this one the front plane and side plane of this one should be meeting with front plane and side plane of that one okay so we're selecting the front plane of the base support should be meeting with front plane of the top support the top plate front plane is required green check two constraints are satisfied the last one is required now you can see the right plane of the top plate should be meeting with right plane of the base support green check all the constraints are satisfied so it is done now you can see it is fixed it is not rotating so this is our assembly green check for better viewing we can change the background plain white it will be better for viewing this is our assembled model next one we have to go for analysis so for analysis we are starting with simulation it is a new study and we are going for static structural analysis 
we can check first of all we have to provide material to all these different parts apply material to all let us select ASTM A36 steel to all the materials which is having modulus of elasticity 2E5 2 into 10 to 5 newton per minute square and Poisson's ratio 0 0.26 apply close material is provided next one we have to fix it we have to fix the base support so fix it fixed geometry the base should be fixed we can fix the base here itself green check so it is fixed but it is not perfect because this one has a tendency to rotate also that should be restrained right so we can apply some other advanced fixtures advanced fixtures this is a cylindrical face so we can select the cylindrical face and that should be restrained with rotation it should not rotate so we have provided zero rotation of that one by the same time we can provide zero displacement of that support green check so it is fixed now we cannot rotate next one we have to apply load external load we have to apply pressure and the unit you want mega pascal that is newton per minute square let us find 0 0.1 mega pascal pressure we are applying on that tabletop green check so pressure is applied now we can now we can mesh and run you can see the results yield strength is 2.5 10 to 8 newton per square whereas the maximum stress developed is 9.96 10 to 7 so our model is safe right you see the factor of safety in this case also it is 2.5 into 10 to by 8 divided by 9.9 .9, 10 to the 7 it is safe but we can find out from here also now the thing is you can see in this case this is the model is safe but we have very much high stress at this bottom supports for better designing what can you do is we can change these things again now we have to see the maximum stress at which location you can see it from here also edit definition first of all we'll see these things in the form of newton per millimeter square and here excessive deformation it is showing now we can change it to true scale now we see now you can see here the deformation is not that much right it is as per true scale though the stress value it is maintaining very nicely that is it is below the real stress it is safe but at this location we are having high stress let us see the stress values with probe at different location we can see different stresses here in this case stress value is 4.01 10 to the power 1 that is 40 megapascal this one is also safe here you can see in this location is also 71 megapascal right so at different location you can see a top surface here it is very less it is 52 megapascal whereas the yield stress is 250 megapascal right in this way you can see the stress values at different locations now we want to see one thing like factor of safety how much it is we can check it from here new plot factor of safety green check here you can see factor of safety is very high 
minimum is 2.5 and maximum is 1 into 10 to the power 16 that means it is a wastage of material 2.5 is also okay so we can design these things in such a way that factor of safety is 1 into 10 to the power 6 that can be reduced parse which one is having maximum load is this one only right and the base legs are not having that much of stress stress value at this support is very very less what can you do is for designing these things we can minimize the utilization of material in this case right so this is all about our today's assembly and analysis of a mechanical component this is a very simple analysis if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again Bye.